that. What is the situation? Running battles, uh, Betty, mm -hmm. between uh, the residents here, some of the residents, and police, and we'll just pan uh, every now and then. There's uh, tear gas just been uh, shot up and, and canisters been lobbed into the, and you'll see some of the smoke right now. We are currently at a building within uh, the Olympic Primary School and perhaps uh, earlier maybe some of, you, some of you may have seen those pictures uh, of the gate uh, here at Olympic Primary School blocked uh, some bricks and uh, rocks had been put there barring anyone get, getting entrance because this is one of the polling stations and we can tell you that no uh, voting is going on here no officials of IBC are here as well but police uh, security agencies throughout Kibrea all over every part you'll see trucks uh, filled with officers heavy deployment in this part so this is Sarangombe ward and this is just down uh, what where you're looking at those pictures after uh, Olympic primary school so you have the residents hurling and throwing stones and some of them even coming up here so literally as we're reporting you have to be on the lookout and a lot of tear gas throughout renting uh, this uh, a place and all around earlier we saw they barricaded some of the roads but we've been able to look and go back to the road you can hear that Betty I'm sure uh, just more of that engagement between the residents here uh, so they are literally facing off with the police and the police keen to ensure they do not leave uh, this um, area and also a stone they have been thrown on one of the roofs so they do not leave this side to get either on Tungong Road or anywhere outside uh, of Kibra so even residents some people being told you cannot come inwards towards the Sarangombe ward side uh, so strict uh, restricted movement even for the residents by officers in various parts where they are uh, camped out and staging uh, and you can see some of the stones just being thrown. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, you can hear uh, some of the youth shouting from the other end. So this is going to be a back and forth, it appears, uh, throughout the day. But there was voting uh, in some polling stations, although very minimal numbers. Usually, uh, like the 8th of August, the turnout here is usually very high. Remember, this is highly populated uh, constituency as well, but also a stronghold of Raila Odinga, who has asked his supporters not to participate participate in this election and so many of them not doing so but also maintaining uh, that no people will be allowed here in terms of IBC officials to be able uh, to uh, put up voting material and allow for voting to take place. I don't know if Dan, are you seeing those young people and they're calling others to come over and there are some of those that are really just throwing stones around. So you can hear some of those being thrown. And even for us, have to be very careful, uh, Betty, but the police as well. Tear gas is, has become one of those. The air is thick with the gas. And um, we'll wait to see how this plays out for the rest of the day, Betty. Sophia, you mentioned that there was some voting in uh, at maybe a few uh, polling stations. Uh, what can you tell us about the safety of the IEBC officials and also in relation also to the police presence in the area? How can you describe the police presence there? Yes, uh, the police presence is very heavy, Betty. You will not walk 100 meters without seeing uh, heavy deployment. And they are heavily armed, tear gas, of course. They have their firearms as well. Uh, and they're literally encompassing the whole circumference, all the roads. You're driving through tracks mm. uh, of officers. But strangely, in some parts, Betty, there are people going on their normal lives. But mm. this part of Kibra, this is where a lot of that tension and anxiety is. We are seeing those stones and tear gas every other minute uh, we're hearing it being shot up in the air mm -hmm. uh, for those uh, like the uh, polling station we visited earlier in the morning actually where Raila Odinga voted on 8th of August right it's called uh, Old Kibra Primary School mm -hmm. heavy deployment uh, of police there just to ensure that nobody interferes with the process uh, in that particular school so for where voting is actually happening or in terms of just set up for the voting uh, there's very heavy security from the gate through each and every part so very uh, heavily uh, de heavily deployed uh, right. we are heavy deployment I beg your pardon we are seeing uh, today here in Kibra so it's, it's uh, a situation we are fluidly continuing